Hi, I'm George, and I'll be showing you how to do a quick Photoshop Elements negative to positive switch, just like that, allowing you to take a negative image and convert it into a positive image quickly and easily. Okay, if you like this video, make sure you hit that like button. Don't forget to click on share. The more likes and shares I get, the more videos I can do. Also, don't forget to subscribe. I do several videos every single week. And so you won't miss out on any of those. Make sure you hit that subscribe button as well. And finally, if you want to learn a lot more about Photoshop Elements, take a look at my complete course. And there's a link for that right down there in the description. Okay, well, let's get to it. We'll be doing this Photoshop Elements negative to positive image using this negative photograph right here. Now obviously this is a film strip, so this has been designed to print in a regular photo lab to convert this over into a positive image, but we'll do this here right inside of Photoshop Elements. It's actually very easy to do, but there's a couple things you may want to do just to kind of fine tune that. We'll start off with making a copy of this layer. Now I always make copies of the layer, and we'll do it over here, right click where it says background and choose duplicate layer. The reason I'm doing that is we'll be changing this image and if I mess things up, I want to be able to go back to my original, which is right down there. So it's just a safety. Okay, here's our copy. Let's now go up to filter. This is the easiest part of this whole thing. Go to filter, come down to adjustments and right here it says invert. This is going to convert your black and white to white and black. Just like that, there we go. There's that nice positive image from that negative. So it's really that fast, that easy to do. But as you can see here, it's a little bit low in contrast. That's something which you would normally do in a dark room. You'd adjust your contrast. You do that with your developing and, and your printing times and so forth. So I'll go ahead and we'll do that. We'll use an adjustment layer for that. Go up to layer, come down to new adjustment layer and levels right there. Where it says use previous layer to create clipping mask. Choose that one and choose OK. There we are. We'll be using the top slider controls. And if you pull the left and right sides in a little bit, that will increase the contrast. So make our blacks a bit darker like that. What you want to do is you want to pull it in so things get darker, but you don't begin to lose any detail. I'm looking at the back of the shirt right here. And notice right there, it begins to block up. That's taking it too far. I want to see those folds in there. but I want to make it as dark as I can and still see the folds. That's right about there somewhere. Same idea on the light side, you want to pull this in so everything brightens up a little bit, but not so far that you begin to lose detail. Now if you look at the arm right here, if I go too far, that begins to block out. There it is, just like that. So you want to brighten it up, but just until you begin to lose detail in that arm. So it's just a little bit brighter, but that just increased our contrast. We can see how that did right down here. Just click on the little eye right there. There's before and there's after. Just a nice little tweak on the contrast, making the image just a little bit snappier. So there we go, that fixes that image. Let's say though that you want to keep the original black outline that we had on our layer right down here. Actually very easy to do. I'm just gonna make a copy of this layer. Right click where it says background, choose duplicate layer and okay. Take this copy, move it clear to the top of your stack, just like that. We now need to hide this middle negative area and just show that outside area. We can do that with a layer mask and some guidelines. So I'm just going to zoom in at the top up here. I want the guideline to come right up against that dark edge. So I'm zooming in and here's our guidelines. Make sure up here on view that guides are checked and also that snap to and guides is checked. That looks fine. We can now grab the ruler and pull a guideline down and pull it right down, right against that edge, right like that. That's perfect. Let's do the right side over here. Same exact thing, but from the other ruler, pull it right up against that edge right there. Let's now do the bottom edge. There it is. Same thing. Just pull this guideline straight down right against that edge. Looks like right there. And then do the side over here. Same exact thing, pull this in and get right up against that edge. Right in there. Okay, let's go back to fit screen. 
And now we have our guidelines in place. We can grab our rectangular marquee tool. I have the feathering set at zero and this is set at new. We're already at snap to guide. So go right here to the cross section. Put your first point right there. Pull straight down to the bottom right. It should snap right to those guidelines. There it is. And then we want to invert that. Since this is selecting the inside, I want to select the outside. Go up to select, come down to inverse. And now the outside is selected. And then just go up here and click on the layer mask button right there. There's a layer mask. And it's now just showing that frame outside. Let's go ahead and get rid of those guidelines. Come down here, I'm just going to do clear guides. And there we go. There's our nice positive image inside of that nice black frame with these sprocket holes. So there you go. That's how you can use Photoshop Elements to convert a negative into a positive image and then also put in that nice frame as well. Now if you like this video, make sure you hit that like button. Also don't forget to hit that share button and subscribe. And take a look again down there in the description at my complete training course for Photoshop Elements. It's the best way to learn how to use this great program. Okay, and I'll see you next time.